Right there is my 14 week old Lycan Shepherd, Ookla. Thought I'd show you his progress from uh, yesterday. You know, as we do this day to day, uh, how he's doing on his early leash training. We're just teaching him to walk with a loose lead right now. We're not working on a strict heel. I do things in steps. Anytime he makes the leash tight, I click. He's allowed to go a little bit in front or a little behind, but he has to keep the leash uh, loose. And I give just a little, a little short tug when I click like that also. We're working with distractions like buses and cars and all kinds of stuff. Doesn't do you any good if your dog does this stuff, you know, uh, when there's no distraction, if, you know, he freaks out as soon as you get him around a bunch of stuff like this. That's why, that's why we work with this, uh, with distractions early on. At least I found that uh, works well for me. But there are lots of ways to train dogs. This is just what I do. But you can see I'm having to click a lot less this walk. Coming around the corner. Lots of cars for him to look at. Come in. Boy. How you doing? Oh, thank you. Just looking at the guy talking to us. Come in. Good boy. Going by a truck here. He's running. Oh, thank you. Again, with all these distractions, it's good. We want him to be distracted. We want to teach him to keep following along even though he's distracted. I love those new Broncos. Wouldn't mind having one for a second vehicle. Ultimately, though, I'd like to get a Jeep Gladiator. Throw a top around the back for the dogs. I'll walk back through that busy area again. You can see from uh, yesterday to uh, today that uh, he's doing uh, better. You know, they progress slowly in steps. Again, the clicks are used to encourage them to come along. They're nice because they don't carry any motion behind them. Let's see somebody up here. Oh boy. That good boy gave him a little pep in his step. Good boy. And lots of distractions. And this is how we work on early leash training. You know, we do this every day. They don't use treats. They don't use, uh, you know, any kind of... Uh, pinch collar or choke collar on a puppy this young you know if he was an adult and I was working with him and teaching him to do this I would uh, maybe have a pinch collar on him depending on the dog again uh, if, in effect your training tool but it you know it depends on the circumstances a lot of people use them wrong he just has a flat collar on him it's black and white checked I've had some people think it was a choker collar. I guess it could, it could on a glance look like it's a chain, but no, it's a, it's a flat collar that's a checkered. I like to see that he's self-correcting when he feels the lead get tight now without me clicking. Shows he's learning. There 
is method to my madness. This does work. It just takes some consistency. Repetition. You don't need to bribe your dogs with treats to teach them to do this. And I, later on, we'll progress this to a solid heel. You know, we do things in steps. You know, I, I've always found it's a mistake to start trying to teach a dog to heel right away when you put them on a leash. I like to teach them to uh, keep the leash uh, loose first and then progress to that. How you doing? Good. Going by a service station, so there's lots of noise and people. the end hope you enjoyed it seeing some of his progress uh, from yesterday to the day that's all like subscribe and share get the merch store see ya thanks for watching check out our merch store down below <laughs>